Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to and today we're gonna look at Portain. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Alright, so last time I done a Portainer tutorial, someone seen my long list of application. The one that comes as a standard as a default with Portainer is quite small. And as you can see here, this is the one it comes with Portainer. There are a few, you know, um, application, but in the description below, I'm going to leave all the links. And here I'm going to show you how to add this templates to Portainer. There are many you can actually find on GitHub, but this is one I use. And as you can see here from the webpage, we got a list of all application you can find. There are quite a few and you can add both together if you want to as well. So you get a full stack of applications. Here it also tells you how to install it or actually how to add the URL. All you got to do go to go to settings. And if you go up and scroll where it says app templates, what I'm going to do, I'm changing the default URL with a new one. But again, make sure you make a copy of this URL just in case you want to go back because the new one, for example, doesn't have WordPress as I'm going to show you in a minute. All right, so let's open a text and uh, from the notepad here, as you can see, I got a few URL. Again, you will find all information below and I got the actual original master copy here. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one here. Actually, let me copy this one here at the end. Um, this is the actual master copy, but there are a few of them. Uh, they will come more or less at the same URL, but they're not. Right? One is from Technorabilia, as you can see the one on the top in the text. And the one I'm going to paste is from Qbios. And again, you got a large amount of templates on the list. So anyway, let's open. I just uh, put the URL, saved it. And what I'm going to do now, as you can see, there's still the old one. Let me save that. So perhaps I didn't save it. And I'm going to re also refresh. So let's, yeah, let's click on the application template list, refresh. And as you can see, now we got a diff one with add guard on top. And as you can see now, we got an amazing amount of application in Portainer. So you just don't have the old ones, you got the new ones. But again, I'm going to show you how I actually add again the old um, URL and you're going to get as well the uh, WordPress installation. As you can see, under W, there is no WordPress here. Okay, uh, what am I going to do now? Let's go back and let's go and copy the GitHub NTV1. Let's copy that. Let's add this one as well on top. Let me remove this. Let me refresh and let me save it. There we go. Now let's go back and I'm going to do exactly the same as earlier on. I'm going back to Portainer, that page. Oops, I think I made a mistake here. Let's go back to apps and let me refresh just in case. There we go. And let's go at the end. Now we should have WordPress as well. There we go. As you can see, we got WordPress also now in the list. So again, guys, very simple. Again, all the information will be in the description below. So don't forget, you can find all the templates under different categories. You can actually browse it that way if you wanted to. And again, guys, don't forget to actually save your URLs just in case. All right. But again, you can just look at the videos and there we go. You got it. Anyway, guys. Thanks so much for joining me for you know for this little thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified. And I'll see you next time.